Why is that thing T posing at me, dude? That was fucking terrifying. It was like strips T posing at me. You're first, dude. Ow. Oh, man. Oh, my God, dude. Fuck this thing up. Well, that's fucking gross. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> this is Reed's mansion? Oh. Oh, this is my house? Oh, shit. I'm Reed. It was me all along, Austin. In my fucking mansion. Holy shit. I remember Sunday walks in the park. I gotta find this water. Though, for realsies. Whoa! Good evening, Avery. Mr. Jonathan. I can't believe my own eyes. Holy shit. You have come back too late, sir. Far too late. I know, Avery. I know about Mary and my mother. I'm so sorry. It was my duty to watch over her. She left the house in the middle of the night. The police said... It's all right, Avery. The police said her body was found near your sister's grave in Whitechapel. You're the master of the house now. I'd understand if you fired me. I found an old letter written by my father and addressed to me. Do you know anything about it? Your father wanted me to give you this letter for your 35th birthday. But you left for the war, and the letter remained in his office. Until tonight. I realize now, you knew my father better than me. Do you know why he left? Did he ever speak me. to you about his departure? No, sir. Mr. Reed was not exactly forthcoming. Perhaps this letter will give you the information you require. Sick. One's being a little weird. Okay, back. I'm sorry I couldn't be here at Mary's funeral. Your mother was strong, sir. But your support would have been appreciated. Apart from the priest and I, no one else attended your sister's funeral. To be present at the funeral with you both was my dearest wish, Avery. <laughs> but I'm sorry, I simply could not attend. I would not dare to question your absence, Mr. Jonathan. All I can say is that we missed you a great deal during these difficult days. Okie dokie. What is the situation in this part of town? 
For a time, the West End seemed spared by the epidemic. But the situation is getting much worse. Have you no relatives anywhere? I'll understand if you want to take a few days to see family. Your father managed to guarantee my earnings as long as I take care of this house, sir. My sisters are dead, and I've never met my nephews. I'll stay. Damn, dude. How was life in this house while I was away? It was sad, sir. Miss Mary moved here in July after she lost her baby and husband. Oof. So I stayed to serve both her and your mother. Nice. How was my mother? Miss Reed was very frail. After Miss Mary was found dead, your mother started talking to herself. She said she was speaking to the dead. She even said that she had seen you. Interesting. How was Mary? Miss Mary went out looking for you every night after you had written to say that you were coming back. She was sure you were alive. She'll never know she was right. That's where you're mistaken, dude. What are the arrangements for my mother's funeral? There will be no funeral, sir. No ceremony whatsoever because of the sanitary situation. Where is her body then? I'm afraid your mother's body was moved to a mass grave somewhere. Wow. I have no other information. Civil service is paralyzed, sir. And London is crumbling down. Tell me the truth, Avery. Do you feel forced to stay here? Would you leave this house without the arrangement made by my father? No, sir. I have nowhere else to go. And I promised your father I'd take care of his family Damn, dude. as long as I live. This house is dead, Avery. There is a curse on this family. You really should consider leaving. If only you could have been here sooner or more often. Maybe this house would not be that empty. But you're here now, sir. So my task is not over. You have served this family extremely well, Avery. Your support during these terrible times is much appreciated. Then I will stay. All I ask is that you take care of my own funeral if I die before the end of the epidemic. No mass grave, please, sir. Do you really think I neglected my mother? Yes. yes. <laughs> well, please go on, speak freely. It's not as if there is anything left to treasure in this house. Just like your father, you always had this capacity to focus only on what interests you. It surely helped you become a great doctor, but not such a great fucking son. rough dude. Tell me how you really feel, man. Thank you, Avery. We'll talk later. Your bedroom is ready as always. Good night, sir. Well, thanks, dude. Much they appreciated. I think I just grabbed that through the wall. Interesting. Old letter. I'm taking everything I can from my own house.
Interesting. Good evening, miss. Oh my god, no. Please, Mr. Vampire, don't kill me. Please, no. I'm too young to die. I still have so Listen. much to offer this world. Wait, no. Why do you think I would... What? Don't worry, Dr. Reed. I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother told me you were in this part of town and might drop by. Your mother? My name is Charlotte, sir. Charlotte Ashbury. Oh. My mother taught me long ago how to recognize the signs that betray a vampire. I understand she also taught you how to tease and gently mock innocent young Ekons. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Charlotte. Interesting. What do you think about this part of town? I was raised here, and I suppose it feels like home. You grew up in this part of town too, did you not? Yes, I was born a few streets away. A small world, is it not? Did you ever imagine that my mother was your neighbor all that time? That you could have met her in a dark alley at night? You won't trick me twice, young lady. We both know Lady Ashbury never hunts or attacks prey at random. Come on, Doctor. Don't tell me you never thought about that possibility. Her fangs on your neck. Oh, are you blushing, <laughs> Dr. Reed? Is there something that's bothering you? Too much selfishness and individualism for my taste. Even when there was no epidemic. Even if that's partly true, may I remind you that many charitable institutions are financed by the selfish and filthy rich. I suppose you're right. But society <laughs> must reform and renew itself, or we are all done. True. What are you doing out here? You mean, what do I do outside at night, since I am a woman? Let me ask you a question, sir. Would you ask the same question of a man? Actually, yes. I ask the same question to everyone who dares to go outside at night, considering the risks. Well, if you must know, I campaign for the right to vote for all women. Why should I wait to the age of 30 years when men can vote at 21? Are you a suffragette then? Oh, you really uh, are. A, a suffragette? Without a Excuse me? All adult women have the suffragette? Right in the US, suffragette? In and in Australia. But women here can't vote unless they are property owners. No need to convince me, Miss Charlotte. I have shared your opinion for a long time. Even before I met <coughs> Marlene Pankhurst. Really? Oh. Well, I see why my mother appreciates you so much. Too bad there aren't more men like you in the vicinity. How are the locals reacting to your claims? People here can't wait for a wall to be built to isolate the West End from the rest of town. That's how progressive they are. If this happens, Emily and I will blow it up. Explosives are very dangerous, young lady. And who is this Emily? She is my best friend, and a suffragette, too. Was it really pronounced suffragette? Tonight, but hasn't turned up. Have you any reason to be worried about her? Recently, Emily started to believe in... Well, she got interested in vampires. I'm afraid she might be in trouble. Let me guess. You spoke to her about us, didn't you? Despite your mother's warning. I think I should try to find your friend. Oh, that would be top notch. <laughs> I can tell you where she might have gone. What? You have my thanks. Did they really say that in the 1910s, dude? Don't tell my mother. <clears throat> tell me about your adoption. What do you want to know? Who are your real parents? Elizabeth Ashbury is my real mother. She raised me and has taken care of me all my life. I have no idea who my progenitors are or were. Do you live with her? I still spend a lot of time in my mother's mansion, but I have my own house now. Nice. I have a life to live, you see. And one day, I'll have my death to face. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? First, I was an orphan in the institution for girls she manages in the West End. When I was ten, she adopted me. And I have lived with her ever since. Nice. Did you know she was a vampire when she picked you? The correct word is Ekon, Doctor. And no, I had no idea why my mother only showed up at night. She told me everything when I turned 16. She so fucking I mad, dude. I the truth for a long time before that. 
Shit's so mad about me calling her a vampire. What exactly has your mother told you about me? Your name and profession, obviously. And the mystery about your makeup. Mm. I'm sorry to hear about what happened to your sister, sir. Mother says it was not your fault. Does it not scare you to know what I am? What your mother is? Why should it? My mother is the most compassionate woman. Must I be wary of her, Dr. Reed? Or you? Of course. Um, I could you have nothing. I could totally murder her daughter if I really want to. Good to know. And don't worry, my mother told me everything I need to know about vampire tricks, their nature as well as features. Your mother is not like any other vampire I've met. I believe she thinks the same about you, Dr. Reed. We're gonna have hardcore sex. Do you know why Lady Asprey chose you to become her daughter? No, I don't. Each time I ask her that question, she smiles and says it's precisely because I dare to ask such questions. Do you ever regret that she chose you? Of course not. Though I often wonder if she adopted others before me. If so, where are they buried? How was it for them to pass through life with a never-aging mother? Fair. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Um, probably. 